Welcome back my DIY nomads. We are back again working on the pull out sofa slash bed thing for my uh, Peugeot Boxer. Um, in the spirit of the previous video I'm going to do this video in the same style. No real talking, just cracking on, getting it done and seeing the end result. So let's get on with it.
Well, everyone, what do you think? Um, there's still quite a bit of work to do. I still need to lacquer it. Um, I need to get the cushions for it. Um, I also need to add, like the kitchen, I also need to add sort of uh, like handles. I don't know what handles to go for, whether I even will, will go for handles or cutouts. Um, one thing that I wanted to show you though, as you just saw before, everything pulls out. You've got all your drawers. They're all soft cl closed drawers, except for one. So when this pulls out, this gap fills in with that bit of ply that I showed you before. But this drawer is running on silver drawer runners. And these are heavy duty uh, drawer runners that can take 100 kilograms. And the whole premise is that a bit of ply will go in here cushion will go on top and then you'll be able to sit on <laughs> maybe not right now you'll be able to sit on this side and it makes like an l-shaped sofa so really this uh, bench has four different uses um, it'll be useful as a bench as in the fixed position right now Plus there'll be a secondary table that comes from underneath the bed and slides out, allowing you to use this as a sort of like a workbench. Well, I say a desk, sorry. When it's fully pulled out, a table will go in the center here and create face-to-face -face dining. So it's like a dining area. Then the center bit will fill in and there'll be an extra bit that goes underneath the bed over here to create a full 190 centimeter long bed area for a single person. And fourth, this will come out It'll, and then a top will go on the top with a cushion and it'll create an L-shaped sofa. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's gonna be it for me today. So I'll catch all you DIY nomads next time.